My name is Mercedes Hoover, and I'm playing Marjorie in the NU Players production of Extremities. The NU Players is basically a club in the theater department. Every year we put on a completely student-run and student-produced production, and that's Extremities this year. <laughs> Extremities is a show that deals with the sexual assault of a woman, Marjorie. The play deals with what happens after that when her roommates come in and how they deal with him. Marjorie is, she's very strong and confident. She tries very hard to be the leader. The first scene, the sexual assault, she loses a lot of her control. Uh, she has a lot of difficulty with Raul, the rapist, uh, because they're very similar people. It's really interesting working with a student director because um, I'm a sophomore and Kathleen's a senior, so there's, there's a little bit of an age gap, but for the most part, we are the same age. Kathleen's really taken care to listen to all of us. She knows exactly what she's doing. She has this phenomenal vision for this show. When I first saw I was cast, I was just so excited. I was, I was ready to be in a show here, and then I'm instantly like, Oh, and I'm going to be doing a, a sexual assault scene on stage. So it's, it's scary, but man, I'm so excited. I love working in small casts because there's just such a family feeling to it. You get so close with these three other people on stage, and it's so much easier to build a strong trust between the four of you, which is incredibly important in this show. It's a very shocking show. We are showing you what a sexual assault looks like. Raul walks in the room with every intention to rape Marjorie, and that is hard for a lot of people to see, but it is a harsh reality. It is something that happens to one in five women, and it's something we need to be a lot more aware of. Theater is about portraying life, and rape is a huge part of our everyday life, which is so unfortunate, but it's true. And the more that we see things like this, that women every day are struggling and men every day are struggling with sexual assault and rape, the more awareness we can draw to this situation.